Okay, let's try this again. Now, I had to, I did a bit, I was doing a bit of a test earlier, just to try and see if I can get this working right, and I kind of goofed up what I was saying, so, this is just a take two, essentially. So, I want to, so not uploading anything, I fell off Warframe because of the fact that I just plain burned out. It was just, well, I guess you could say it is burned out, because I had practically everything at the time. And I just want to let the content accumulate before I come back and replay. Because like I was playing it yesterday with a friend of mine, but that was just like I wasn't playing it religiously like I was for over the last since 2015 to early 2020. So actually, no, not even that. Like I stopped playing around tw uh, mid 2019. This is there was just not enough content to keep me busy. Sure, I could just farm prime parts for platinum, or I could I could just do all that. But it kind of got stale. Not boring, but stale. So I, I genuinely had a lot of fun playing yesterday. So I might come back to revisit the builds I've got because so much to change. Like so many changes have happened over the course, over the course of the last few months that it might be worth revisiting. So I'll. So if you, if any of my viewers are still wanting to get more Warframe videos. Let me know in the comments if that is something you want me to do. But anyways, on to the topic of this video. As you can see, I'm in Unity. A friend of mine wanted to learn how to... How to do dual-handed gestures or dual-handed, like, multiple animations on a single trigger. Well, not a single trigger, but more. So that way you do one gesture and then after another, and it triggers a completely different animation. Whereas if you did the second trigger first, it won't do anything. So I'm hoping this is the right one. I'm gonna do other tutorials. Like I'm gonna be going through Blender to help, like, to figure, show you how to do shape keys or and things like that from like, for XPS models or other type model types that don't have the shape keys needed for things like visemes or eye tracking. The bat and these. It's not just applicable for this stuff's not just applicable for VR chat. Like the stuff in Unity that I do is mostly for VR chat, but these could be solid foundations. So like, sort of build a knowledge base on how Unity would and Blender would behave, so you can in in kind be able to use them to maybe make your own games or even your own your own animations. So purely these tutorials are just sort of groundworks. They're not professional ones because I don't do this for a living, but I do love, I do this as mainly as a hobby and I have fun doing so. And if you're a VR chat creator, I'll also in the description link Tupper's videos on how to import at the, how to do the MMD models because the MMD models are probably the easiest ones to go through Blender to make as models for VR chat. And I can so I can vouch for that because I've done several MMD models in the past. So anyways, so on to this. Week. So you got, as you can see here, I've got two animation clips, and I've also got a VR chat custom override, which already has these two here. Now, because I do mainly Dragon Ball models, that's why they're labeled as auras. Because if I were to unhide this and hit play. You see, like this is an aura prefab, I, an aura I put together for my personal model of this. So, like, now that's like that's just for another reserve for another time. So, as you can see, this is like I've put this as an empty game object. So this isn't going to be uploaded as an avatar. This is purely as a test because having the avatar descriptor allows me to make use of this, the gesture manager. Which I'll also link, uh, put a download link for in the description if someone needs this, wants to make use of this. Anyways, so we're just gonna tr for this test. We're just gonna treat this as a avatar that you, I plan to upload. Which I real in this realistic sense, I'm not, but we're gonna treat it as such. So. If I wanted to trigger, have one aura active, and then have this one, the Kaioken in or activate, which if I were to like go like this. So as you see, it's a completely different aura to this. So what you want to do is that, let's just take this out because 
that's not intended to be inside that NT game object. That. So we got the two auras he, side by side, and they're this, they're completely different. Well, they're different coloring, but principles there. So to trigger one, so we're gonna need to do as far as so. We'll create a. Now these two duplicates, any duplicates of your model that you make are gonna serve as puppets. So you're not gonna actually upload these. They're purely to manipulate animation clips or controllers, so that way you can use like the effects you want will trigger. So for the for the like tutorial test one, I'm gonna put this on, and as you can see, it's created this. So when I go to animation and click on this, you'll see that there's nothing here because these are blank slate animations. This is purely. So it's like, I've got copies of default gestures from a friend of mine, so I use those mainly for my gestures. But you can also custom make them by using by use of the record button, but we're not going to use that. To trigger the aura, so tutorial so test one is going to be for the Super Saiyan aura. So we go into this game object, and I go to in here. I don't want to set this to be as active, but instead I want this. Dial back the keyframes. And now, if I, I have preview, as you see, one aura is activated. The Super Saiyan aura is active. So I just go back to animation. Boop, 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 boop. That's, that's pretty much how you would trigger an aura. And like, basically, with this, all you'd have to do if you've got the aura's prefab set up is just put it straight onto your onto your custom override, like how I've done on this one, if I go back here, to see? Both of my aura animations are on here, but this one aura one doesn't have anything yet, because I'm about to get to that. So let's just see this preview. So that's the basic one here. Basic trigger for a aura. So now onto the next part, to make the dual-handed part, we can go to my t second tutorial, mo like my tutorial object here. And as you can see, it's created another controller. So now we go back into animation, and we're gonna have to do a little bit more this time. So if I were so to trigger a make a dual handed gesture, we're gonna need to do this. So that has to stay at, in it disabled, which it is. But now we gotta go back to the kind of can aura and make that one active. So, let's dial back the keyframes like I did before. And do the same for the other one. Make sure the key, when you do the keyframes, you gotta make sure that the game object is active on both instances, otherwise it's not gonna work. It'll perpetually, it won't, it'll loop, but it'll just only briefly activate. So now, so now I can hide these, because, so, and the inspector will just hide them because um, so in the second tutorial test as you can see the Kaioken aura is active so if I were to go and go back to the inspector and unhide this as you see with the preview if I were to click on this and then I tr click on this as you see it's the Kaioken aura and not the Super Saiyan aura triggering so that's pretty much the basic of a dual-handed gesture, so if I were to go into this, let's just do this, and go into play mode, and I can demonstrate this. So I, basically with this, is that dual-handed gestures, you can do a fair amount of these, like, it's like, depending on what instance, like, for example, if you had on VRChat's finger point gesture, you could have maybe three, four, or five if you want to use the other gesture keys like hand open or fist. The fist one's really buggy, so I personally try and avoid that. And it might, heck, it might change with. Oh, fuck. Alright. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot to dis. My bad, my bad. I forgot to disable it, so. So while I'm waiting for Unity to catch up, when it comes to, silly, as I was, as you could probably guess from the fact that I, was, I do a lot of Dragon Ball models, I've been 
getting uh, getting my hands on models from Dragon Ball Fighters and all that. So, yeah. But anyways, let's fix that up. We only need the first tutorial test model active, so that's what we need. So if I go back to play mode, and if I go into the scene and the gesture manager. Wait, what? Come on, what's the hell? Oh, okay, so it needs to be a model of a humanoid rig. Okay, so gesture manager ain't gonna comply here. So, for the sake of this, I've already done the models on eight. So, so I'm hoping this is so as much as that, because I'd have to go through the rest of my models to sort of get the right idea. To sort of reset the inventory system, which I'll also do another tutorial on on how to like put them together. But with the addition of Avatar 3.0, it might become redundant. But the point still stands that if you go into the animation, one has to be like this, and then the other has to be like this. To so that's pretty much the concept of dual-handed gestures or dual-handed animations, pretty much. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. I really am sorry I haven't been uploading a lot lately. I've just been too addicted to playing VR chat and doing... Well, playing VR chat is, is it just like... It's been like growing my uh, my hobby for this has really been growing. Because so, if I were to... Get, this is unhide this. Oh fuck, I did not mean to hit play mode. Ah shit. Uh, me and my memory today, but it's like I mostly I haven't been uploading a lot of public models lately. I do have a couple that they just don't have any animations. Like I've got Super Saiyan three Goku, Kefla, a Halloween Goku model. I'm also gonna be working on models such as Vampire Goku Black and a bunch of other ones. I'm ma as as I said, I am a mainly a Dragon Ball model creator, but this is what I've been focusing on a lot lately. I really have been having a lot of fun learning how, like, I basically, when I learned how to control the inventory system the way I have, I've been pushing its boundaries. <laughs> it's like, it's like I have like 14 different transformations on this, and got, and I can put in Lord, like, I think like, what, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, I can put up to 30 different auras, like, not auras, I'm like, energy attacks on my on my avatar if I want to 30 at best like if I wanted to avoid things like hand open and fist but if I were to use those that would easily add another 10 so I could I've been pushing the boundaries of the inventory system and with the l learning how to use the touch based inventory system I could put I could break this model even further well I'm not gonna it's not a crasher model like, I am just going to clear that up right now. If you see me in this model, you don't have to fear. It's not a crasher. I've been actually making some really optimized auras on this. this let, let me just show you what I mean. So, just go and get disabled. Hide this. So, as you see, I had to separate the hair because of what I had in mind. So, let's see. So... As you like, tell, if you, for Dragon Ball fans, if you are familiar with the abbreviations, you'll know what those abbreviations mean. So, slit. See, there's nothing here, but if I were to go and duplicate this and put this in here, unhide it. So I'm just doing this as a preview as what I've been up to. Oops, wrong folder. Materials. Come on, come on, brain. Where am I supposed to go? There we go. It's like this is sort of what I've been on. Just basically, I when you want that. So this is pretty much what I've been working on. Just like this is more just like just generally breaking the inventory system. Well, not breaking, just pushing its boundaries far beyond what I was original. I originally learned about it. So, anyways, thank you very much for watching, and I hope. If you want to see more videos on me doing for Unity and like, I've even got some like funny clips I can put a upload from VR Chat itself. I've also got other games in mind. Like, I will, I might revisit Warframe. As well. actually, no, I probably will at some point because a lot of my builds have become a bit redundant from what I remember. 
There's like, especially with the changes to the status, the status, like the status chance in that, like well, not status chance, like the status elementals. So elemental status effects. Cross, like last time I checked, corrosive got nerfed into it's not a permanent effect anymore. So just stuff like that. So I'll revisit my builds and I will upload as. But I can't really get a good schedule going. I've got, I've had so much things happen in real life. It's kind of. It's just, it's not ridiculous, but it does take up time, and I really can't focus for shite. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Or, assuming you stick around, yeet!